so Laura, did you have a chance to watch the the last Super Bowl when Beyonce was performing? I absolutely did, and I loved it. Yeah, so I think I think it was a couple of days after the Super Bowl. I actually watched her video and, and watched the the halftime show and everything, and I just remember seeing her like she had so much power. There was so much power coming through in that performance, and and it really helped me actually to get back into a vibration of power. Like I was watching it at a point where once again I was experiencing some fear around some growth that my business was going through, and I remember watching her and thinking. Thinking, wow, like if I could just channel that into my business and into my work, and it completely switched around my vibration just watching her performance. So, for all of you watching, if you have someone who's inspiring and powerful, or you can even think of a powerful performance of whatever kind, it might be a, a music performance, it might be an acting performance, it might be another entrepreneur that you admire, them speaking on stage, if you can bring that kind of that vibration of what they're doing and how powerful they feel into you, it really helps to get us out of fear. It's, it's very, very helpful. Um, and, uh, yeah. And then, oh, and then we can talk about treats. Don't we, Laura? We can get to talk about treats. Yeah. I love treats. Who doesn't love treats? I, I, I love treats. <laughs> um, one of the things that you can do is to plan a reward upon completion of a quote unquote scary task. So let me give an example of this. Uh, last year, I had my largest speaking gig to date, and I was speaking in front of 70 women at a meeting that they were having. I was the keynote speaker in the morning, and I have to admit that I was pretty terrified. It was the oh, biggest sure. thing that I had done so far, mm -hmm. and I was thinking, okay, how am I going to get myself through that? How am I going to get myself through that? And then I thought, ding dong, I know what I'll do. I will schedule a massage for the afternoon of my speaking gig that was an early morning meeting and so that's what I did and it was great to sort of have that in the back of my mind mm -hmm. knowing that okay no matter how scared you are you can get through this and then guess what when you get through it you get this reward a nice massage and so that's something that I talk about with my clients is setting up a treat list so that when you do have those those tasks that either scare the living dickens out of you <laughs> or or the things that you really hate to do, that you'll have a list of things that you can reward yourself with immediately right afterwards. So mm -hmm. it's, it's wonderful to have that in the back of your head. Just get, I can just get through this. I can do this. I can do this. And I really want that reward at the end. I found too the amazing thing about actually making a treat list. Because mm -hmm. uh, I, I did it. I think it was maybe uh, like two years ago. I remember making one specifically and it had things on it like um, get a photo shoot, uh, take a trip to Europe. Um, what, what else? Oh yeah. Like buy a new jacket, you know, just all these things of all these different levels. Yes. So like some free things and some things that cost much more like that trip to Europe. And I think the thing I love about treat lists is ha and having those rewards is that often when you're cleaning you find them, you find your old ones, and you go through and you realize that almost everything is checked off. Like you've done almost everything. It really becomes like this manifestation process. And, um, and yeah, you know, I had like, I had my photo shoot. I had my trip through Europe. Like it all happened. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so wow. yeah, it was really great. So um, I think that's just wonderful. Just knowing that there is something really, really good just waiting around the corner from that fear. Mm -hmm. It's so nice to have that mindset of, okay, if I can just get myself through this, mm -hmm. it is, like you said, it's right around the corner. And it, I love what you say because some, some of the things can be free, totally free. Mm -hmm. And other things, depending on how big the fear is, usually I make my reward sort of dependent on the fear. So the bigger the fear, the bigger the reward. So that day I was pretty scared. So I did get a massage. And then sometimes I, if I have a bigger fear, it will be a, a bigger reward. Like I am going to go get a new pair of boots or something like that. Mm -hmm. And if it's smaller, then maybe I take myself out for a cup of coffee or for lunch or that kind of thing. So yeah. um, it's but it, it's just so nice to have that feeling in the back of your head of, yay, I get to reward. It's like giving yourself a gold star. From, from school. You got a gold star and you felt good. So now you're taking control of your gold stars and you're giving yourself a gold star. So I love that. Yeah, and so much better than just a sticker. 
Yes. <laughs> I agree. Yes. Oh my gosh. Well, and I know you do a lot more teaching around this and, and our writing and are even filming some more videos and things like that. Um, will you tell people how they can find, find out more about you and what you do if they want to even learn more? Absolutely. They can go to my website and that is pinksparksystems.com. And so they can poke around there a little bit to find out more about me. And then I also have a, a survey that they can take called Assess Your Systems Sanity. And mm -hmm. so they can work through that just to see where they are and how they're doing in their systems. And so that's one way for me to, um, to show them what I do and for them to learn about me. So that would be a great way. And what about you, Ava? You... You help people um, with so many different things because mm -hmm. I know that you do the, the, the business coaching, but then there's mm -hmm. so much more to you as far as the, um, the, the wealth consciousness. And so you just have just an overflowing <laughs> basket of goodies to help. I know. It's that, um, so. like the, the website's been up since I think 2009. So <laughs> yes, for those of you who are wanting more information about wealth consciousness, about business building, um, I even, you know, I started as a, as a nutrition professional. So you'll actually still receive some of that support around taking care of your body. Uh, so the blog is huge. <laughs> the blog is huge <laughs> at avawaits.com. There are so many more videos as well, which you can take a peek at. And we just wanted to make sure that you really had some good resources to get started and to help you get out of fear. And then really what, one of the things that I always want to bring to people is that feeling of confidence and inspiration and to really help support you to know that you can do this and whatever your this may be, <laughs> yes. whether you're building a business or going for something that you've really been dreaming about for a long time, there are a lot of resources to help you get there at avawaits.com. Uh, Laura, well, thank you again so much. And for everyone watching, we just want to thank you for being here with us. And um, yeah, it's it can be so easy. It can be as easy as putting on a song and dancing around to help you get out of your fears so you can be more efficient, more productive, more inspired, yeah. and just so much happier and so much more relaxed in your business and in your life. So thank you again, Laura. Have thank a great day. Thank you so much, Ava. Yes, it's been a pleasure. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Thanks, right. everyone. We'll see you All soon. Right. Bye-bye.